Welcome to this short tutorial introducing the new features in FHC version 1.8.0. Once you've installed FHC you should find four new icons on the desktop if you haven't already got them. The first icon is to FHC which will start the program itself. The second one which will have been reinstalled is the FHC's projects shortcut. You should also see a shortcut to HCalc and if you haven't had this installed before it, it will now automatically install it with FHC. This allows you to calculate the pressure loss in a pipe using the Hayes and Williams formula or you can calculate the pressure flow or K factor from a nozzle or sprinkler head. The other icon which you should see is the FHC release notes. I'm going to talk about today in version 1.8.0 and if you scroll down you'll see that these notes also have all the version changes which have been made from 1.6.0. One of the nice new features in FHC is if you select a pipe which then turns green you can then double click on that pipe and it will automatically bring up the edit data for that pipe. So again we'll select this pipe, double click and that's opened up the property window for the edit and we can then make any changes we want. So very easy to use, select the pipe, double click and that opens it up. One of the features we have with FHC is that it is an international product and to cater for all the different design authorities in project data we have a little drop down box where you can select numerous numbers of design authorities and in version 1.8.0 we have added some new design authorities to the list. Now this does come a little bit awkward because it does default to one particular one so what we've now done is allow you to alter which is your personal default design authority and also you can shorten the list. To do this you need to go to the tools menu options design authorities and you should see a list like this and these have all the design authorities which are in the system now if we don't require a particular one we can just click on it and show turns to zero so what I will do is I'll deselect a lot of the authorities just leaving the typical UK ones don't want the two new water mist standards which we've included and I might leave the NFPA FM is selected but my typical one which I would use would be EN 12845. So what I can do is I can double click on that one. A little dialog comes back and says is that your default? I will go yes and it just puts a one in that column. Once you've done that close the box and that will save it for all the projects. So now if I go to file new it comes up 12845. So I hope you find this to be a new and useful feature in FHC. The last function we'd like to demonstrate is the new rotate command. Now I think you'll find this really useful to increase your productivity. Uh, before when we used the copy selection and we'll just try that, copy select, select a pipe, select an end node, it copies that pipe but that's as far as it goes. What it doesn't allow you to do is change the rotation. So for instance if we wanted these two sprinklers 
onto this side, it wouldn't allow us to do that. Now first of all I'll just tidy up my drawing by getting rid of those two pipes. So what we can do now is we can select the pipes but we can ask it to make a rotation. And to do that we go to the draw, and the new command rotate, and then we can choose one of the angles which we wish to rotate by. In this instance, because we want it to mirror, we want it 180 degrees. So we select that tool. We now go to the standard copy selection command, select the center of the pipe, select the end node we wish to copy to. And that's done it for us. But uh, what's more useful is we don't have to do a mirror. We can also do other angles as well. So just to show you how useful this could be, we'll go to rotate, say 90 degrees, go and select the pipe, select the end node. Um, so if we want to gain, we can go 270, select, select the center of the pipe, select the end node you're coming to. And uh, we'll make it nice and symmetrical. So we'll do a rotate 180, make the selection, select to the end, and you just use the standard command and make a nice symmetrical system. And that's completed my little installation. Uh, and as you can see the function the new rotate function will be particularly useful and will increase productivity. We hope you found this short demonstration on the new functionality which is available in FHC version 1.8.0 to be of use. Please don't forget to use the release notes which come with it. Uh, this enhances what's in the manual and shows you what new functionalities there have been. If you require assistance, please use our support email address. Thank you for listening.